Lord Jesus, um, I pray over this video that I'm making briefly. I pray that anybody who sees this is blessed by this and that they just ask for discernment and that they open their eyes and their ears and that they accept you as their Lord and Savior and that they repent of their sins and have childlike faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so it's, I really did not plan on making a video, like, at all. Um, this was just so not something that I was planning on doing. So it's February 21st. It's Sunday. Um, I've been, I've been reading Jeremiah today. A little bit of revelation. And just a couple different scriptures. So... I'm a watch woman, you know, always just trying to be alert. Um, I think anybody who is a Christian knows that 2021 is going to be a bad year. I mean, it's just everything that we're experiencing is going to get worse. So if you did not know that, um, please be aware. The minute they said peace and safety, the minute they started opening up stuff again from the prior lockdown, it was all just peace and safety, basically, is what they were saying, whatever. And things are progressively getting worse. I know I mentioned in one of my videos I had a dream about an EMP last year. I didn't know what an EMP was. So whatever happened in Texas is really like, Jesus is shaking the world. He's been shaking the world. Like, this is warp speed. Like, we is on nanoseconds, you guys. All right, I want to get to the whole point of this video. So, I'm watching Dateline right now. Sunday night Dateline. And I started praying for Israel when I um, came across Dateline talking about the Israel nation has this vaccine being distributed among basically the entire nation. And this was last night's Dateline. Dateline comes on seven days a week. So I actually ended up looking up into the article because when they talked about it on Dateline, that was a red flag. The way they titled it, and, it's, and if you Google it yourself, it says, those of you who do not take the vaccine in Israel will get left behind. Google the words that I just said and you will find this Israeli article. So I was like, Jesus, why are all of Israel, like, why are they getting vaccinated so fast? I'm going to keep it to myself what he told me, but I suggest you pray to Jesus about it and open the Bible. Because it really shows you in the Bible. What I will say is what happened just now blew my mind. So today they announced that it's 500,000 people in America who have had the coronavirus. Which is sad. But what shocked me is what I just saw in Israel again. So they mention I... I think the best thing to do is just play the segment so that you can hear it. Including gyms, hotels, and swimming pools are only accessible for the fully vaccinated and COVID recovered. And I'm so happy I can go back to the gym right now. Shelly Maysherm has waited months for this day, eagerly downloading the government's new Green Pass app. And I put my ID and my phone number, and after I do all of that, it checks if I'm entitled to have it or not. It's a sort of vaccine passport linked to Israel's centralized health care system. And we just came to get a breather after a year that we didn't sleep out of the house. At this hotel, guests line up with their passport apps out. Fantastic. Thank you so much. As new data out of Israel shows the Pfizer vaccine prevents 98.9% of hospitalizations and deaths. 
Critics point out that although nearly half of Israelis have received at least one dose, the country has supplied four fewer shots to Palestinians. Around the world, a number of countries announcing plans to roll out vaccine passports, including Sweden, Denmark, Bahrain, and Cyprus. Do you think we're going to see a system like this in the U.S.? I think people might object to uh, being required to show a pass to go into a, a basketball game or a restaurant or a movie theater. Back at the gym, after three lockdowns, Shelley is cautiously optimistic. I have to pause this part because this is what scares me the most. Back at the gym, I'm just going to pause lockdowns, right where she gets her Shelley forehead. Boom. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera. Sorry, because I'm bad at this, guys. Do you see her? Look, after she shows her app in her hand, she then has to point her forehead to get her temperature checked. The Bible is very clear, y'all. And I, I have my Bible right here. Um, Revelation chapter 13. Um, I'm so shocked right now. Like, I'm 35 years old and I'm witnessing this. I'm like ready to cry. Like, I'm so shocked. <laughs> I'm finna cry. I, last time I made my video, I cried. <laughs> okay, so anyways. But read Revelation um, 13. Keep it simple, guys. People have tried so hard to figure out what the mark of the beast is. And um, one thing I know is this is definitely a precursor, the setup. I don't, I'm so speechless right now. This woman, I, I mean, I, if, if you watch Datelines, I don't know if you're able to YouTube Dateline on Sunday just to get to what, I, what you just heard. But they have these people with in their hand the app and then she has to also get her forehead checked off and then to have yesterday's article on saturday february 20th which i was watching dayline i did a fact check to find this israeli article those of you who do not get the vaccine will be left behind that is so satanic it's not even funny the Bible is very clear. When they say you cannot buy or sell. It, w w just keep it very simple. When they say you cannot buy or sell. Right now this is not being forced. But whatever is happening in Israel. They are making quite a statement. And the fact that they announced today those other states that you just heard or countries, whatever it was, I'm just saying, y'all, this is repent in the name of Jesus Christ for all your sins. Get in your prayer closet. Confess to Jesus now. Turn from your sins. I'm talking about fornication, masturbation, any lasciviousness. Read your Bible. Limit your television, limit limit everything, just just turn from your sins because this is seriously not a drill. I seriously cannot believe we are like witnessing this. This is so serious. Like Jesus is not no fairy tale, y'all. He is real. The God of Israel is real. I'm just saying, I have no words right now. Get out your Bible. Read Revelation, read Revelation 13, 
read, read Revelation from front to back and read about the mark of the beast. What I will say is I'm going to pray for you steadfast, stand fast, hold on to Jesus. Don't be troubled. Don't be scared, but don't be blind and don't be afraid, but just hold on to Jesus because this is happening. I mean, this is happening. That's all I have to say. So I, I, I was never expecting to make no video. So I pray for you if anybody is watching this because I'm, I'm really bad at this. When they say you cannot buy or sell, like this, it's going to, I, I, I'm not going to say that, but I would not be surprised if they start forcing this for people who are resisting. I mean, the Israeli way is like the biggest wake up call. If you are not a Christian, if you, it, it ain't no Allah, it ain't no Buddha, it's only Jesus Christ is the name that you are saved. Accept him now while his hand is out stretched. Um, that makes me think of Isaiah 5, 25 and Isaiah 9, verse 12 and 17, because God's wrath is upon us, y'all, but his hand is still outstretched. Of out of all the states, Texas went out like that. I mean, y'all... This is not no drill. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. Pray and repent in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to pray for you too.